is about to be my new go-to snack. It's giving peach cobbler. And this is my mama's recipe for peach cobbler. And tomorrow, paintball. Then I have another sister's birthday. It li I literally got hit in the mouth. Are y'all trying to say I talk too much? We love a hype woman. We love a woman of God. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I know this is not the most ideal setup to start this vlog, but hello, this is Woman of Eternity where we are God-fearing, God-living, God-loving. I am Natalie, hello. And I am trying to hide my hands because y'all don't need to see what my nails been looking like. Your girl's been stressed and your girl's been biting. So y'all are gonna watch me put my press-ons on that I just got from Amazon. I'm so self-conscious, oh my gosh. That I just got from Amazon. The process, the products, everything will be linked below. We're gonna get into that. We got exciting things to do this week. We're meeting with some um, some friends. Honestly, I need to look at my calendar. But y'all, regardless, we finna love the Lord, get into the word, get into life, really doing life as a woman of God. And yeah, I just got out of church a while ago and then I went to a viewing for a beloved family friend um but ben my man is getting us some rita's to hold us over until we can have some real food do y'all have rita's i'm like i never knew is rita's local like there's some chains and stuff that are regional and then others that are like all over i don't know Ooh, and that's my food good morning do i need to wipe the lens off I need y'all to see clear. Much better. Good morning and happy Monday. I am just over here cooking these eggs because yesterday was the viewing. Today is the actual funeral. But I have a lot to get done today. I have freelance work to do. And so I'm not gonna be able to go to the repast or anything. Also, I just can't keep living with my fingers looking like this. Unacceptable. So we're gonna make this breakfast to go. I'm also gonna do my makeup in the car because <laughs> the nails have to get done. Also, somebody yell at me and tell me to order my meds because mm, I'm running out. But oh, I am so I'm about to have pretty hands again because this ain't it has not been it. I am a chronic nail biter. It's not a, oh, are you anxious? Are you nervous? No, I have nails and so I'm finna bite them. But that's why I have to get my nails done. But I'm happy and excited because we got some pretty ones. This is a set I got a while ago, which taught me that I love nail reformation nails. Got this set from TJ Maxx, but these, also Nail Reformation. Oh my gosh. It looks nude, but it has a the prettiest gold chrome. Y'all, it has the most gorgeous gold chrome that I feel like is gonna look beautiful when we like get into fall. Then we have these, which are Pink with that typical like frosty glazed donut type. And last, but certainly not least, my favorites, the one I recommend, the ones I still recommend, these from Amazon. They are just the perfect nude neutral color. Just the shape is gorgeous. I love everything about these nails. And all of this other stuff don't matter. If you don't get this, I told y'all about it during Prime, and I'm still, I I'm not lying to y'all. When I say sale, when I say these little glues they be giving you, throw them in the trash, okay? Throw them in the trash. They suck. This is what you need in your life. It needs to be this one, and it needs to look like this. 
the pink gel nail glue. This is the one. You want it, you need her, okay? Any Anything else just doesn't last. I can do the same exact steps, and I know this because I tried it last week. I can do the same steps, but if the glue isn't good, it don't matter. I've really learned glue is more important than the nails themselves because I could buy any of these nails, and with this and good application, they're going to last. I don't know why I was playing myself and telling myself I was going to eat these in the car. One thing I could do is cook some eggs. And these are like quick eggs, right? Mmm. Good amount of butter, salt, and pepper. I don't know why. What's with y'all seasoning y'all eggs like meat? I don't want my eggs to taste like chicken. Y'all, we're just going to do these. Partially because of the time. <laughs> we do have a time crunch, if you will. And I know it's quick. I know they fit, but first up, buff your nails. Get them even and just ever so slightly textured. Once that's done, wash off all the little dust particles. Go ahead and like pick out the sizes. And once you have all your nails selected, acetone. I know a lot of people use alcohol. I don't know how well that works. But you want to acetone the nail to make sure there is absolutely zero dirt or oil this is really what's going to make the nails last and make sure you wait until the acetone is completely dried you don't want anything touching between the time you acetone the nail and put the glue on speaking of which i put a blob on the nail like so and then i oh i put a lot oh not me trying to show y'all and messing up my own finger whatever i'll do it again hold on i literally just wiped it off with the acetone let's try this again dry 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 yes a proper dollop make sure there are no air bubbles and then i spread it in an even layer line the nail up press it flat and hold I hold for like 10 seconds and I, you know, twist like that to really ensure it's getting on there and bow a nail. Look how pretty that is. Your nails are on and pretty. I like to file the very edge because sometimes it can be like a little pointy or just uneven. That's literally just a couple. Yeah. This is so funny. I'm in Gina's car and she has a car mount. And I'm like, wow, this is literally so Who are perfect. You talking to? Oh, I'm vlogging. Okay. Gina, this is su such a perfect setup. Okay, well, you need to turn that off so I can do directions. Okay, um, uh, yeah. Well, we're not going to the, um, repass or grave site. And of course, because I'm with yours truly, I'll be working from her. So we're going to be body doubling. There we go. Body doubling work from home. HR, this is Gina. All right, we are now in Sissy's home. The funeral was so like touching. I I was crying, but I think I actually just generally speaking, I'm starting to enjoy going to funerals during this time in my life because it's so inspiring. It's like, what type of impact do I want to make? What type of like mark do I want to leave? What stories do I want people to say about me? The type of woman I was, so on and so forth. And not only that, just seeing like, what type of friend? Like, I need to really cherish and tap into my best friends. I feel like I always leave funerals with so much wisdom and motivation to live my best life actually, right? Because like I said before, no one is at the funeral talking about how many countries you've been to and how soft your life was. It's about your heart, your character, who you were, 
the the wisdom the changes that you've made like that's what really matters the most and of course all the other stuff is fun but that's not what you're going to be remembered by and so i'm very excited for just this week ahead you have a lot to do a lot to get done speaking of which i have to work with my body double y'all might hear her clicking right now but um needless to say hang on to those you love really cherish them those in your life your family your friends your co-workers whoever they are be jesus to them because you might be the only jesus they meet and i know you've heard that cliche but it is so true yeah i'm about to get to work y'all already know how i so let's do it happy Tuesday I am pumped I am in such a great mood because I had such a great Bible study this morning it was one of those like you know sometimes you're wrestling through something like theologically and then it just feels like you're just having like aha moment after aha moment it was one of those and I feel like I need to run it by <laughs> Some fellow Bible nerds, fellow theologians, just to like make sure I'm not tripping. But like it was it was one of those. And I want to share it with y'all eventually. Um, after I make sure that I'm not in error. <laughs> but needless to say, I am about to start editing the vlog. It's actually like noon. I'm starting today pretty well, rel relatively late. I did, I did go for a good jog. Well, walk with some jogging. Whenever I say a jog, I mean I'm walking with some jogging. Okay. I was gonna go to Wegmans because you know it's Tuesday and I like to do my grocery shopping on Tuesdays. But as soon as I stepped outside, I was like, no, the weather is too perfect. Like I have to, I have to go for a jog. So did that. Came back. Got into my word. Now I'm about to get to work which is cool um I've, I've just been so productive and i'm so happy for the shift because y'all saw for weeks i was struggling but i'm like wow like it's giving another good week which i'm really excited about and yes i'm trying to think <laughs> this weekend really all the action is this weekend and so this week might be pretty boring but stick around it's going to get good Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Editing break. So I made myself a little snack. And it was so good. I'm literally making it again. But I have to show y'all. Sunflower seeds. Not sunflower. Pumpkin seeds. Raw pumpkin seeds. First of all, they're actually so good for you. In one serving size, which is three tablespoons, it has three grams of fiber. Yeah, three grams of fiber nine grams of protein nine grams of protein three grams of fiber it has a bunch of magnesium it has iron it's got potassium it's got all types of stuff in here really really good we're making a snack of it and before i would just eat it and it's like eh, that's mid but i was like let me toast them y'all this is literally so easy put that flame on medium just did Tablespoon, three of these, one, two, three, and I'm making it real time so y'all can literally see how quick and delicious this is. Oh my gosh, it literally hit, it hit so hard. It was like, I don't know, it was just good. And I kind of spread it out so it's like a flat layer. And we're just gonna let these toast. When you can, when it gets fragrant and it kind of starts to pop, that's when you know. Oh, I'm gonna salt them now too. Mm. 
we're gonna let it chill out no maybe every four minutes or so give it a little tossy toss but you'll see them start to turn brown they'll become fragrant and um you'll hear you'll start to hear it a little bit that's when you know they're nice and toasted giving it its first little shake at this point it doesn't look like anything's happening but it is you hear it all right Oh yeah, it's starting to get there. I can smell it. They're ever so slightly starting to turn brown. I'm just turning the heat down a little bit. I ain't gonna lie, I did tweak or I'm um, turning it up to like medium height, but I'm putting it back down to sincere medium. And they, they're already starting to smell so good. I just wanted y'all to be able to see they're starting to turn brown. Another little clue is when you go like that, you'll hear they're like harder. Like they're not as soft. Yeah, you can hear the sound when you flip them in the pan. And they're already salted. The only other thing we're gonna do is some honey. I have a little ramekin. I love these for small snacks, like making sauces. Like that much honey. Okay, I'm literally so excited. They're ready. This is good enough yeah and i'm literally just gonna spoon them on or spoon them into the honey now these are hot and you're gonna hear how hot they are i have my honey here do you hear the honey should see it these are really hot yeah literally just let it cool off for a few minutes it is so good i imagine someone might want to like sprinkle some like cinnamon on there that would be good i don't really like cinnamon like that so i'm not doing that literally this is about to be my new go-to snack. It's just the perfect little snack. Is it bird food? Yes, it is. But it just, it's like when you have a craving and you just need enough to nick the crate, this is so good. You can see the, um, I feel like I honestly could have afforded to toast it even more. I just didn't want to burn it when I was recording. 10 out of 10. Hey, what is up, y'all? I <laughs> I feel so all over the place. Let me turn the car off. There is so much going on. So, I don't know how I forgot. I have, I double, double plans this evening and I don't know how I forgot. So, a sister at my church is being asked to be a girlfriend. Cuz you know, you got to make you got to make all all the moments special, okay? And I was invited. And so, I have to make it. I have to be there. Also, I have a Bible study with a group of sisters tonight as well. So, I'm thinking we're going to go to the surprise and then we're going to leave that early and just arrive late to the Bible study as like an in-between. I'm literally about to shove this Chipotle down my throat. And I got it because I had enough points to get a free entree. entree. I still end up having to pay $7 somehow. Maybe because it's the queso. I don't know. But needless to say... I'm, <laughs> I don't have time to do no makeup. Thank God my skin has been doing pretty good, you know what I'm saying? Literally, I mean, I might do a little concealer. We might do a little concealer, but I gotta eat what I can, throw a dress on, because we don't have time to make a whole outfit. It's, it's very much giving dress. Put the dress on and go. Are y'all shakers? I'm a shaker. I like all the flavors to get mixed. I like everything on a bite, you know? 
I just ate what I could eat. Now I'm about to run and I'll be right back. And just like that, we're back. I have on this Zara bodysuit with the denim skirt that I like, the long one from um, Fashion Nova. I kept it cool with the accessories since my purse has silver hardware. But yeah, let's go. Okay, so up the, it's gonna be so windy. Voice over. It was so cute and so precious. It was a very intimate moment. I didn't get to film that much, but overall, I am obsessed. I love love. It's beautiful. It's special. And I was so glad to be part of this moment. I wasn't able to record, but I'm going to fill y'all in on that. I know I didn't vlog anything. It was, oh, I hate when this happens. It was very short lived. So, like, that. Them asking, oh, be my girl, be my boy, whatever. That was intimate. And then we all like came later to surprise them. And then everyone went to get food. But I need to get to this Bible study. <laughs> yeah. So the real engagements and stuff for... I don't know what to call it. Because it's not a proposal, but... <laughs> the My Me and My Man festivities... It's happening now, so everyone just left to go to that. But I need to go to this Bible study. All right, stop number two. We made it. All right, look, don't be mad. I know I didn't take y'all in with me, but listen. When, when, when you walk in on something vulnerable, you can't just, just whip out. You know what I'm saying? It was one of those. But I am so excited about what God is doing in the lives of people around me. Oh, it's such it's such a great season. Like, mm -mm 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 -mm. <sighs> I love the Lord. We all got to drive. We about to worship jam at home. It's literally nine thirty. That's crazy. <sighs> well, I'm going to talk to y'all tomorrow. I am so. morning to you happy wednesday <laughs> last y'all last week was a mess i was happy wednesday tuesday every every day was off every day was off last week anywho it is wednesday for sure and i'm excited y'all so last week i um told y'all about how i want to make a bible book cover or just like i just want to start getting craftsy again and what I'm realizing is it's so good for my mental health. It's so like therapeutic. I feel like it's a very similar thing to doing my makeup. Like it's handsy, it's, you know, creative, it's sensory. Um, and so y'all know how I like to do it. But I'm going to show y'all how to do something. I, ha I like to have an idea of what I'm doing, whether it's recipes or whatever, right? And so <laughs> I did attempt to make a cover already. And it's all right. It's all right. You see, it says Holy Bible. All right, little frilly fringe. But I'm going to tell you my issue. First of all, it's, it's too big. Do you see all the... And I feel like when I pick it up, it just, it slides around too much. The other issue is I don't have a sewing machine and I was lazy, so I hot glued it. And it's it's just too messy. When, I, when I'm doing like videos like this or things like this in the vlog, I really imagine I'm like, yeah, girl, I see what you mean. Or, mm, I don't know if I would have done. Like, I imagine y'all interacting with me. I don't know. But, um, I mean, first of all, it's a babe, right? I just go to open it. If I just open my Bible like this, I mean, which, let's be honest, we seldom do. But, <laughs> I 
I didn't make the page long enough because the fabric was slightly see-through. I put the thick paper in, but it's just, it's just too messy. You can see how it's just not as clean as I would like, you know, I was trying to figure it out and it's super bulky. Like this is mad stiff because of the hot glue. Oh, and the other thing that happened was, um, yeah, you can see like, it's just not clean. And I, I love my Bible too much to give it mid, to give it mediocre. Um, the other issue, oh yeah. So I got these, um, these iron-on letters from Amazon, which I am so, 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 so beyond happy with. I love these. They're not shiny or glittery. It's kind of almost like felt. It's kind of like furry. I don't know. The letters are great. What's not great is because I hot glued everything when I went to iron it, the glue, I'm not sure if you can see. Yeah, you can. The glue bled through. You can see those dark spots. You hear how hard it is? Yeah, the glue bled through. And I want it to be cuter. I want it to have a lining and stuff. Anyways, all of that is to say, we're doing it again. I've watched a lot of tutorials, so I have a better idea of what we're doing. And this time around, because I still don't have a sewing machine, I'm not just gonna buy one for this. We are going to hand stitch. We are going to hand sew it. Very much giving old school, okay? We are going to hand sew it. Now, all I have, <laughs> y'all, this is literally all I have as far as sewing. Enough to take in my jeans. This is all I got. Enough to take in my jeans. <laughs> and so we, we're going to need some supplies. Luckily, a lot of the stuff is affordable. And now that more of my iron-on and Bible accessories have come in, I think I have a better idea of how I actually want to decorate it. One of the um, iron-on patches that I was so excited about, y'all, I mean, it's still beautiful. I'm probably going to use it for something else. Look at this. It's shiny. It's fuzzy. Like, this is beautiful. Where's it going to go? <laughs> Where is it going to go? It's too big. And then it also came with this Jesus one. I mean, if I do it sideways, I'd want to put it on the spine, but it's 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 just too big. But I'm going to find something to do with that. Those aren't going to waste. These are gorgeous. Um, but I'm very sad about that. However, I do have plenty of other beautiful things. While I get um, my stuff, this has been so good. Not just because it's like restful and therapeutic and like, you know, it's like recharging in ways but it's been helping me be more productive because I really treat it as a treat. Now, we're gonna get the, the um, stuff we need first thing first, like first thing in the morning, because I don't like driving midday, it gets too hot, so on and so forth. So we need to run our errands while it's still cool, but we're not touching nothing and we're not making anything until after our work is done. Because I look forward to doing it so much, it makes me want to like knock my stuff out so I can get to it, which is really exciting. I, I almost forgot I ordered this. First of all, we just have to start with the packaging. This is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, Grace and Bloom Collective. Look at this. So Grace and Bloom Collective. It's like nice material. And then look how pretty. We just have to appreciate good packaging when we get it, you know? 
like this is gorgeous <laughs> i almost feel like i'm getting a pr package i definitely bought this on amazon thank you you're welcome boo come on woman owned woman owned so these are my bible tabs they are leather with the gold omg and so i'm kind of gonna let this serve as my inspiration i've never been a bible tabs type of girl but i want to get more into bible journaling and so i think i might use these more as bookmarks so like marking off the big sections so i'm i'm concluding we're going to lean into the gold we're going to lean into the gold we're going to lean into like this salmony kind of pink and yes we have to pick up some tools so I can actually sew this thing. y'all we are back i did good i only got one thing that wasn't on the list but it was very necessary um this <laughs> extra long ruler but it has the line so you can make sure everything is straight because i was i ain't gonna lie i was struggling the first time around this is it i i won't be shopping for a while look can y'all see the... Ah! Oh, so and then I also got this one. It's going to hit so much harder. Like I, I know it, I see it. And then this was very convenient and affordable the um these little squares so i can use like this for the lining do you see how pretty and then this to like practice sewing we are back and i am so excited i have my <laughs> laptop my video i have my New goodies. Oof. But yeah, once I feel like I kind of got the hang of it, I'm probably gonna put on um a different video, probably a vlog or something. I'm gonna relax, enjoy myself, and yeah, watch. <laughs> Wednesday I know <laughs> I've been in this room a lot I've been in my robe a lot since I found it again y'all I've been going through it and it shows because this hair I've literally been wearing a bun for like a week and a half when I say netted my the, the whole middle of my hair is one ball you know your hair is matted 
when you go to grab one little piece and the whole, all of my hair is coming with it. That means all of this is connected. Oh, there is no, run your fingers through what? Run, run the fingers through what? A mess. I'm about to wash this hair. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I don't know how much hair is about to come out my head. But I've been going through it. It's been a lot, a lot of emotions recently. Um, and I need to take care of myself. This is your sign to take care of yourself. I still have work to do today. Um, but I'm thankful for community. I'm thankful for discipleship. I was able to talk, get some things out this morning. And then this evening, me and Ben are meeting with our discipleship couple. And so, yes, this is why, this is why we need community. This is why we need church. This is why we need each other, fellowship, all the things. I'm going to take care of myself knock this workout and then i'll talk to you guys later hello we are back we are feeling much better hair is clean i didn't feel like styling it so this is what we're doing i have no idea what my part looks like but like i said we are um meeting with our discipleship couple and me and ben were assigned to drinks and dessert and so for the dessert because it's summer it's giving peach cobbler. And this is my mama's recipe for peach cobbler. And when I say it's the best, so easy, but so top tier, so top tier. My oven is preheating and I'm gonna show y'all how we do it. And I'm in a rush too. I'm gonna try to make this so quick. You need a nine by nine pan. I wanted a prettier one, but this is all I have. I'm gonna go ahead and butter it up real quick. Just rubbing this all over. All right, you need two cans of sliced, sliced peaches with the heavy syrup. You need peaches in syrup. You're gonna put the whole can with the syrup in, but for the second can, you're gonna pour half the syrup out. Oh, the oven's ready. So whole pan, whole can with the syrup, and then second can, discard half the syrup. Once the peaches are on, this is really just a dump cake, cinnamon to your liking, half a box, only half, okay, half a box of yellow or butter cake mix. I think I added too much cinnamon. I, I'm not into cinnamon like that. I think I OD. So only half of this. Ignore my little instructions I wrote down when I was on the phone with my mom. But yep, half the box of cake mix. You can kind of press it in a little bit. Is that no? A little more. <laughs> now you kind of want to get it in there a little bit because the juice from the syrup is gonna um, soak up a lot of this dry. I feel like that was about half, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> and then the last step, you're going to cube butter and dot it all over. One whole stick, I'm using, oh, an unsalted butter. This is a stick, it just comes in two because Land O'Lakes is weird like that. But a whole stick of unsalted butter. So cubes like this, and then just dot it. So we're gonna let this go. You see all the butter on there? We're gonna let it go for like 40 minutes, but we wanna check it halfway to see if there's any dry spots. There shouldn't be any dry spots. The butter should really like melt and spread and get everything. And if there is a dry spot, just add a little cube of butter there. So we're gonna let this go for 40 minutes. And then you save the other half for the next time you need to make peach cobbler. So it's in the oven. I'm not sure if I said this. Oven's at 375. Um, timer <laughs> set for 20 minutes. We're gonna come back, check it, 
I am so excited because y'all know how I am about my desserts. Usually, you know, my go-to is cookies. I love cookies, but I'm specific. I'm not really into soft bake. I mean, look at previous winters. Y'all know I'm the cookie queen. I'm the cookie girl, but I'm about to be venturing out. Now, I do my cookies from scratch. This clearly is basically a dump cake. Um, but let me know if y'all try it. It's super good, super easy. And yeah, my mom is funny. She was like, I was like, you know, I'll try not to disappoint you because my mom is known for this, right? And <laughs> she was like, don't tell anyone it's my recipe until they're raving about it. <laughs> like, if, if they don't like it, don't say I told you this. And I'm like, fine. So we're going to see. We're gonna ask what people thought and if I pass the Kathy test. All right, this is the 20 minute mark. You see those little dry spots? We're just gonna add butter. I just pulled it, oh my gosh. Look at that beauty. Look at her. I think she's a little wet, but once it dries down, we'll really see. I'm cold, hence the blanket. But it's time for the test. Look how cute they plated it. I paired mine with butter pecan, but I know some people are doing vanilla. Y'all, we're gonna get real reactions. <laughs> okay, it's the moment of truth. Getting a head nod over mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. That's it. And like melt it in my mouth. That's it. Immediately. Mm -hmm. That's it. Let's go. That's good. That's really good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She did that. Yeah. She did that. <laughs> for my birthday. <laughs> okay. I was looking for a problem. Couldn't find one. Pop a mission to show. You know? Yes. That's period. Good. That hits. Well, y'all heard it here. <laughs> Hello, happy Friday, y'all. I am feeling so much better. Thank God for discipleship. Does my lens need to be wiped off? Sure did. <laughs> wow, I'm so excited because it is officially my man's birthday weekend. The birthday festivities start now. And it starts with me surprising him with breakfast. And then this evening, we're going to, like, one of his favorite poets is in town. And so we're going to see that. And tomorrow, paintball. Then I have another sister's birthday. Wine, wine vineyard situation. And then we have his birthday dinner. So it's a lot. And if you don't know this by now, all good gifts start with the card. Okay, so I'm so excited. I got the food I got him a drink and I'm about to drop it off and then kind of like hide deck away and yeah I don't know what I'm gonna say something crazy probably slightly ridiculous to get his attention and make him like look outside and yeah all right y'all so I just ate my food I I don't care where I'm at if I see a lavender lemonade or a purple haze on the menu I'm getting it you know, all I was saying about how, oh, I'm going to film, like, a tutorial this time around. I forgot. I got a whole new light for sit-down videos that I haven't set up yet. And I don't have time to set it up. But I am going to take my time and not speed through so y'all can really see what I do. I start with the Bobbi Brown Enrich face face and I focus it under my eyes and on the sides of my mouth because that's where I can get a little dry. I have like normal to oily skin but these are places I just really want to be hydrated. Then I use one of my um towels and I tear a corner and I use that to wipe any and everything off my eyebrow because brow pencils don't last as well when 
They're laying on top of a bunch of product. They work and look best when they're laying directly on skin. It takes time in figuring out what look you like on your face. So how I do my brows may not be how you should do your brows, but I'll just share. Um, I, I clean them up first of all, because they look crazy. I have these, and when I say clean, it's literally the quickest thing ever. do one of these and I don't like brow gel I feel like whenever I use brow gel my brows end up breaking out like I'll get a pimple on my eyebrow so I start with a super light hand kind of filling in diagonally and down so that's the front then going gently on the top kind of trying to make parallel lines between the top and the bottom and then I go back on the bottom and I do my curve and then I just connect this part with the little strokes to the end. Then once my brows are done, I go in with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. For my eyeshadows, I use the Mario Master Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I've had it forever as you can see. It is very loved and I go in with a fluffy brush with this shade first. I have very hooded eyes. A lot of this stuff just takes practice where I have a lot of hood and so, so I always put it in the middle of my socket and then I blend it upward and figuring out like the shape that's flattering for your eyes. Like I said, all of that is practice, but this is generally super safe, super basic, easy to do. And from here, there's a lot of directions we can go, but I'm keeping it super pretty classic for me. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually gonna tap this brown and this brown together. So like one, two, three, one, two, one. Tap it off. And I'm gonna pat this on the lid. And just build that a bit. Once that's done, I'll go back over it with the first brush to just really make sure it's blended. But like I said, this is a look that's pretty hard to mess up. Then I take this Maybelline gel liner I I honestly am a pencil, I prefer pencil, but I haven't found a pencil that I can really use well. And this came with a little brush and literally all I do, apply it on the brush and really flatten it out. We're doing the smallest ever baby wing ever known to men, ever. And this isn't a special brush, it's literally the brush that came with the thing. On the corner, I just drew that out. And I bring it back in. Like that. And with my nail, I just drags it up a little bit. All right, next is complexion. I'll be taking the Dermablend CC Continuous Correcting Full Coverage cream put a little on the back of my hand or on a um a palette now a little bit of this goes a long way which allows me to have a thin layer but still get the coverage that i want and i literally just take a finger and i dab it in the middle of my cheeks where i want the most coverage y'all see how crazy that is <laughs> and then Corner of my nose, size of my mouth. Like I said, areas that I have the most discoloration. And with, what is this, a Morphe E6. I like a flat top brush. I kind of pat and drag to just 
blend and cover. And then whatever little bit is left, I'll put on the forehead. My forehead is mad dark. <laughs> Using my Mario Soft Sculpt, really put this on the forehead. Cheeks. And I do this pretty messily. This is really just for color. And with this Sephora brush, I forget what it's called. It doesn't have anything on it. I just blend that. Yeah, you can see how easily this blends out. My rule of thumb is the lightest part of my face. So my highlight should match the lightest part of my body. My bronzer should match the most tan part of my body, which would be my arm. And then the mid shade should like match my chest essentially. And you can see I'm doing all the cream stuff first. Next is blush. This is the nude stick and sun kiss. It's called a bronzer, but that is literally pink. That is a blush. Um, and with the minted foundation brush, I blend this in. And so for my face, I don't have like the most pronounced cheekbones. Um, so I don't like to bring this too low. But I bring it up under the eyes, across the nose. And I like to do this before concealer. Because I'm also just not a huge blush, blush person. And I put a little on the forehead. I know it looks intense. But this is going to help the blush look like it's coming from within. And that it's not sitting on top. For contour, I'm taking a bronzer. This is the, um, the Fenty Cream one in Teddy. This color is like a perfect contour for all of skin. And with... <laughs> This is the Sephora brush that I used. It's just another one. Um, kind of the same motion that I blent my foundation with, but I'm going upward. And then I'm going in with my concealer. I said this was going to be like an everyday glam. It's, it's leaning more towards a full glam, if I'm being honest. And where I place my concealer is in the hollows of my face so in there I didn't bring it all up here and stuff because I'm trying to lift the hollows when we blend it out is when we can really manipulate and spread it this is another Sephora brush it's it's different than the other ones I've had it forever they don't make it anymore which is so unfortunate but um yeah I'm blending this out and it's like, I'm barely picking it up. Like, I don't really know how to describe what I'm doing. But I blend it out. Like, I'm not sweeping it. It's like, I go right on top of it and I'm doing micro little movements. Then I take my Huda powder. Oh my gosh. Don't be like me. Don't leave the foundation on the back of your hand. Take a piece of your paper towel and wipe that thing off. Taking my sponge or my powder puff, I pick up a good amount, dab the excess on the back of my hand, and then I blow it. If you're doing someone else's makeup, don't be blowing your um, powder puff. And then I start right below the eye. I go up to the eye, and then I go out. So I put the most product right there where I can tend to get oily. And then, like, I flip it upside down and just set the forehead with whatever's left. And I don't bake. I don't really leave it on. Um, taking my little Real Techniques brush, I just brush it all away. All right, to finish the eyes, I use this NYX eye pencil in light brown as you see I didn't put eyeshadow under the eye this is what I use 
Because I feel like it does what it needs to do, but you don't have to like blend it. All right. Oop, almost forgot. <laughs> highlighter. This is such an old highlighter. This is the Patrick Star Matte Highlighter. I've had this thing since college, and I used to not use it because I was scared of running out. I'm still doing pretty good. And the blush we used already has a glow to it, and so I don't need too much. I apply it, I tap it, and I like to use a big brush like this because it diffuses it um, all over. And then I hit the top, hit the nose. I'm not precise with my highlighter. I kind of like it to look like a luminous glow. This is the final look. I am so excited. I feel super pretty. Like I always feel pretty when I do my, sorry. I always feel super pretty when I do my makeup like this. And now it's time to let my hair down. Doing this without messing up my makeup is gonna be the question. That part, easy done. Easy done. Other arm. Oh my gosh. Period. Oh, it's so much cuter in person. It is not hitting at all on camera. I know I said I was going to do a ponytail, but <laughs> do you see the shine? Oh my gosh, I am putting this up. What, are you kidding me? Look at it. Glorious, it is glorious. Uh, what I ended up doing, the top was too loose for my taste. And so I had a white hair tie. Can y'all see that? I used the white hair tie. Yeah. Before the scent. It's a special occasion. It needs, it needs like a big girl scent. Gentle fluidity is the choice of the day. It's so grown. Let me take my watch off. It's so feminine. It's so girly, but sophisticated. Oh my gosh. Back of the neck and the hair for good measure. All right, so I have about an hour and all I really have time to do is wrap, wrap this watch. All right, the gift is wrapped. I'm so excited. Now all that's left is his card. All right, we are here We're waiting for the doors to open and Ben is currently parking, but I'm so excited. And literally one thing I love about DC, DC is just filled with beautiful people. Just waiting. He supports me, right? So one day he came to me, he goes like, oh, I really gotta tell you something. And I go, uh, what's up, right? And he's like my brutally honest friend, you know what I mean? Like, and you need one of those. Like you don't need two, two is too many. <laughs> how long it took to convince the first rifle that it can hold a note instead of a bullet but still fire into a crowd and make everyone move. Uh, when I was six, I was taught how to throw a punch in the 80s. That was the anti-bullying movement. Hello, welcome back. Y'all, the event, them poets correct. They, they knew what they are doing. Some of them, you know, it, it wasn't fit for this channel, but you could tell they had really good heart and stuff. It was really inspiring. I'm like, maybe I need to pick up a pen or something. But 
We are now at L'Oreal Plaza. It's a very well-known restaurant in D.C. About to eat, because I can smell other tables and it's smelling really good, so enjoy the montage. <laughs> Day. We are here playing paintball. Char is here. All the folks just got started. Even my sissy came. But yeah, I came late, so I'm letting them get started without me. And I'm just about to spectate. Am I actually gonna play? We shall see. Never again. Never again. Where's my mouth? It li I literally got hit in the mouth. Are y'all trying to say I talk too much? Craziness. <laughs> Hello. It is much later. I am showered. I'm still not over the fact. Y'all, when I say, what was the point of the mask? What, what was the point of that mask? They're like, oh, so you don't lose an eye. I literally, <laughs> when I say I was so done after that, I was so done. And this is a different angle because y'all are um on the bed. My tripod is downstairs and we're in a rush. So we're not going to have that much time at Delisa's situation but Lisa is doing more things like next week so watch next week's vlog for more birthday action but yes been the one planning this whole birthday thing I was fumbling no technology was fumbling technology told us but we are here we are going to get situated y'all we're gonna have 40 people how I don't know in Olive Garden a 40 yep we didn't get a room no we didn't we just expect them to make room and that's on period <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. We talked we called, to them. They were nice. Yeah. And God's going to let it work out. Favor. We playing our favor card today. <laughs> nah, that's actually You're right. My bad. 42. <laughs> well, what a week. What a week. A lot of highs. A lot of lows. But God was faithful. We got through it all. Ended on an amazing note. But y'all, it's the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share it, do all the things. And I will see you in my next video. If you know you need to get right with God, if you know that you ain't living right, that there's more for you, get connected, get plugged in, find a good church home, get discipled. Hey, if you need to reach out to me, if you're like, I have no one to talk to, you could talk to me. This channel is still small. I'm accessible. You can reach out. I love you. Jesus loves you even more. I'll see you in my next video.